तो कैसे हैं आप लोग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड नाइट वट आर द टाइम यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर फाइन वेर एवर यू आर सो फाइनली आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम मेकिंग अ वीडियो अगेन एंड एज पर डिस्कस ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम प्लेटफॉर्म द टॉपिक इज माइक्रोबायोटा गट ब्रेन एक्सेस वेल वॉट इज द टॉपिक एंड हाउ इट इज विल डिस्कस इट अड दिस टाइम there is one two two new things the first that i'm using a green screen secondly uh, i'm doing this through a presentation right so i hope you all like it and let me know that uh, how do you liked it secondly uh, this presentation is going to be on a topic which is you know required for all of us to uh, understand it because this is a very important part of our life and i'm explaining the reason in the first slide itself so that you can decide that do you want to follow the next 10 or i don't know how many minutes it will take so yeah let's start okay uh, again uh, welcome back to the channel i am mithun chitanya i am a bsc graduate in the field of biotechnology and this is my channel science share where i upload various uh, scientific topic videos and i'll upload more in the future ahead So let's come on the topic and start this video. So yeah, the first is you are what you eat, right? Then the second quote all this is diseases begins in the gut. Well, these two quotes are uh, you know correct and now they have scientific proof as well. You know, you are what you eat all diseases begins in the gut. You know, these are some quotes which are given by some famous personalities and uh, this stands correct and whatever they thought they thought it very you know in the right direction that something is related with the gut and the personality you have so this is a system that requires attention well why i have used this word is because you know many of us do not know that what this system is and so in order to have something good in our own life we are required to know what this system is and that is why why should we first lifestyle so basically uh, the moral of this video is like i am discussing conclusion before so that you can you can decide that do you want to be here in this video for the next few minutes or uh, you want to skip or you know go to some other video so well uh, lifestyle is something uh, includes that is sleep sleep hygiene sleep habits then uh, our eating habits and uh, how we sit uh, what's our posture do we do exercise how much we interact with people and everything right so uh, our lifestyle is you know responsible for some factors which are going to be displayed right now on your screen screen that is first is happiness second negative and positive energy third stress fourth fear you know fifth disorders and many more but i have selected this because these are some common things and very generalized terms which is affected by by a lifestyle but how it is affected by a, by our lifestyle you know that's the question here so now the actual topic that you read in the title is microbiota gut brain axis well this is a system an organ system so technically organ system means some organs which are you know from the same embryonic area and uh, performing some functions together but here we have some organs which are you know not situated together at one place but they are connected and they influence a lot in our day to day life and how our health is so that is what this microbiota gut brain axis is here we have brain we have a gut there is a connection between our gut and brain so basically brain is connected to all the organs of the body but the connection with gut is a little bit more important because from there all the process of energy can start because we we eat the food that from where we take the energy goes inside the gut all the absorption and digestion processes right takes place in the gut so this connection is really an important part that 
what our personality is and everything is we'll see that how uh, you know the first clinical observation was for the same and the thing here that the word microbiota like in this particular connection what some more thing was uh, discovered that is microbes present inside the gut in the brain and in the pathway as well contributing a very large amount in what the signaling is and how it is you know resulting into what in what it is resulting into microbes really play a very big role in the same purpose how they play a role is through their microbial peptides and very different things it's a you know we can discuss every one slide of this topic for hours but this is a very short video on explaining in a very simple manner that what is microbiota gut brain axis a very important gut a very important organ system which we all should know for our life as i said because this particular organ system affects a lot it is affected by our lifestyle and because of that the factors that are displayed that is happiness fear positive negative energy stress everything is governed by this particular axis and it is really uh, you know interesting to study that how we can utilize this knowledge into making our lifestyle better and if we make our lifestyle better then this axis will work perfectly fine and if this axis is working perfectly fine then our health is a lot more better than expected so first clinical observation uh, that's the history where the first clinical observation was taken place so that is uh, United States Army Surgeon William Bond and Alexis St. Martin, a Canadian fur trader. So basically, uh, Alexis is a famous GI patient. What are the reasons we'll see? Uh, that is, he, uh, got an, he accidentally got shot in some, uh, it was a world war. Secondly, surgeon did surgery which left Alexis with a fistula. Open gut, he recorded all eating habits and digestion in a live manner an established relation between gut and brain. So basically, this was the first clinical observation as we said in the literature that as the surgeon did the surgery for Alexis when he got shot, but uh, this left Alexis with a fistula which was open on the surface of the body. And uh, this was taken as an opportunity by the surgeon. And he, uh, you know, noted all the relationships between the food, food's digestion, and the mood of Alexis. So basically how food is reacting on mood and how mood is reacting on food for its digestion, right? And this arrow goes long because this research is currently going on as well, but how we can utilize it in the medical treatments, prescription of medications, and a lot of different things, right? So this is where the gut and brain connection was established that because food is something going inside the gut, but the mood is something which is, you know, uh, governed by brain as well. So basically, both of this got a connection by, uh, you know, which was observed by Army Surgeon William Bowent on Alexis because of the fistula which he was left with after his operation. Now, some of the scientific research suggesting gut microbiome connected to excess. Well, I said that there is an axis which is microbiota gut brain axis, which I explained to you that uh, this is an axis which is connected, our brain connected to our gut. Uh, the major connection pathway is a vagus nerve. And in this particular pathway, there are a lot of microbes. Well, how this uh, got into a conclusion, uh, so there were some experiments done on the model organisms. You know, uh, currently in the field of science, uh, a lot of experiments is taking place that is on mice and on different animals. So basically this model organisms gave some results that the first one is germ-free model affecting mental behavior. So basically uh, some of the mice were grown in such a way that they do not have any kind of microbiota or, or a very less amount of microbiota and they uh, shown a different mental behavior and affected brain compared to a healthy wild mice. Then infections altered behavior. Infections in gut uh, altered the behavior of that particular model organism. So that is again, uh, you know, what we call is uh, insight that microbes are a major part of this axis. 
Secondly, different microbial inoculation, different behavior. So this model organisms where what they did was different microbes were uh, kept inside the gut of different mice or the model organisms, whichever they were. And they show different behavior. So if one, micro, if one model organism is having some particular kind of strain of microbe, they had some different mental behavior than the other person who is having the other, uh, you know, uh, microbiome in their gut. And the fourth one is antibiotics affected mental state. So when antibiotics were prescribed or given to the, uh, the test organisms, model systems, their mental behavior was affected because obviously antibiotics are very broad spectrum and they affect the pathogens with the friendly microbiome which is present in our gut which is used which you know plays a big role in the gut brain axis and antibiotics affect them so it again affects the mental state right so basically this uh, microbiota gut brain axis is really a beautiful subject to understand and we all should understand that whatever we do, our sleep, our eating habits, our exercise, and secondly, the most important one is medications. Uh, how much we take and whatever it is affects our body system because it affects microbiota and this gut brain axis is also being affected. I know this video is having a lot of things all together for uh, new people. The one who knew, uh, know this topic from, uh, you know, before they'll get to know that what uh, I'm saying as well. So in a very simple statement, we have an organ system which every one of us do not know well. But as the quotes were there that you are what you eat, all diseases begin from gut, right? And whatever we eat affect us. And that is really correct because... Uh, this axis is a governing principle of our body for a lot of, uh, you know, uh, chemicals which are responsible for the emotions that is happiness, sadness, fear, you know, everything of that. So at, at the end, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching and uh, giving your precious time to this channel. You can subscribe if you liked, like it, comment, share to your friends whom, whom you would like to, you know, say that, you know, we have something connection which we don't know, we should know it. And definitely I'll make more videos on the same. This was just a start. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Suggest me any new topics you would like to understand from me. And let me know that how is this green screen, you know, this, uh, the way you are watching currently this video how it is, how was the presentation. Please do let me know your thoughts. I, again, this is a platform, Science Share, Science Share, which is made to make topics in order to deliver it to each and every person possible. And uh, I know that there is a lot of gap between videos and I haven't uploaded in last one year, only six videos. I, I will try to be as much as consistent I can. I like to make videos, but you know, it takes time. Earlier, I was just making videos on a very quick basis, but now I felt that I should give some more time. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day ahead. Again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the time you're watching this video. I hope you all are doing well and you got something new from this video. If you uh, got again, then please do like, subscribe, share, comment. And have a nice day. And references are mentioned in the description box below. So yeah, have a nice day ahead. Jai Hind. Namaste.